I don't know what you had in mind But here we stand on opposing sides Let's go to war Let's go to war!
Ja, ich glaube, so.
Ouf Oh
Gol of I suppose, eh? Correct. Uh, good win today. Delighted. Um, I was wondering what to say after all these defeats and then suddenly you get a win. Um, I just said to the boys that I think that result's been coming for us all season um, against one of the better sides. Um, I've been saying to the players all season that I believe we've underachieved with the quality of the squad we've got. I keep saying it to them. I keep asking them to believe me. Um, hopefully that result uh, and performance uh, gives them that belief and will hopefully kick us on because the, the standard of the squad we've got is far too good to be at the bottom of the league um, in my experience uh, and, it, and it is just about getting a bit of confidence for the boys and like I said hopefully that performance uh, first and foremost will give them the confidence <laughs> <laughs> That's the quickest he's moved in the last half hour Just like in the game I've been covered, I was covering him in the game as well <laughs> Um, oh, aye. <laughs> and there was a few standout performances. Uh, the other positive thing was uh, we lost the first goal, and it's the first time we've um, came back from losing the first goal. Uh, we seem to be quite vulnerable to losing the first goal. But as I've said to them, not to panic because we've proved all season that we're that we've been fitter than nearly every team we've played. We've finished every game we've played stronger than the teams we've been playing against. And I said that to them at half time, just. 
believe in that fitness that we've got, we'll get stronger in the second half. And that proved the case again. Um, but this time we managed to turn that uh, possession, dominance, whatever, um, into goals. Um, so aye, it was, it was great. A couple of special mentions for Darrell Devlin, I thought was different class in the middle of the park. Was a great example to young kids uh, of what to do when you've not got the ball. He wasn't on the ball a lot, but he was making sure that the players around the bottom weren't playing either. And that was massive for us, just protecting the back four, breaking things up. Um, and also Kieran right back, yeah. getting better and better. I thought he was different class today, probably the best player on the park for me. Yeah. Um, fitness, strength, everything. So, hi, delighted to be in the next round of the, the cup. But we need to now use this result to go and kick on and push on up the table. Um, starting in the weekend with, with Dunbar. I know that you're obviously keen on the players having a lot of fitness and you could tell that that's been something that's been worked on in training as we entered into extra time. When we went into extra time, I, th I thought we would, we would win the game. Uh, it was just a case of getting the, getting the chances <coughs> and putting them away. The boy Keith Luff showed up as well for a change. <laughs> First time this season as well. <laughs> Actually tucked one away. <laughs> um, so, aye, it was a good team performance. And then it, and it was you know, a squad performance as well. We had to make a few subs. Um, just with old legs like myself having to change boys. And then all the boys that came in done a, done a job as well. So, aye. Everyone played their part and it was just a great all-round performance and got the result we deserved, I thought.